Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making these easy crochet Christmas stockings. You will love making these stockings so much. We work from the top down. I'll show you how to do a super easy heel. Just working back and forth, no stitching or anything crazy to do. You will love doing this heel. The toe is also a super easy decrease. There are not very many tails to sew in. We carry our yarn up on the inside of our stocking and also our seam carries down nicely straight along the back and straight underneath the foot so nobody sees that seam when your stocking is nicely folded. There is also a hanging tag for hanging them up. They're, it's absolutely finished by the time we're done. And I'll show you three different edges. I'll show you how to do the flat edge, the scallop edge, the icicle edge, and you can just pick how you are going to finish them off so each of your stockings can be individual. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over at my website, secretyarnery.com. All my written patterns are written in plain English, so you don't have to know how to read a pattern to follow along. It is actually just following exactly what I'm saying in the video, but on paper form. For these stockings, I used three different colors of ice yarns. I used Saver and Saver 100. They're both four weight worsted acrylics, just in the standard Christmas colors. You will also need a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle, plus one stitch marker. If you don't have the four and a half and the five and a half millimeter crochet hooks, you can use a five millimeter and a six millimeter. So let's get started. So grab your smaller hook, your four and a half millimeter, and your yarn. Make a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink it down and put it onto your hook, and chain 41. One, two, three, four, five. 40 and 41. So there is my chain 41. Lay it out flat. We want the pretty V's facing up. We don't want any twists in that chain. And then just kind of roll it around so it's a full flat circle. We want to look for that very first stitch. So right on top of our knot, we want to go in just to the bottom part. We want to get two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook, right there. So just put your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, and we're just going to slip stitch to join. So just grab your yarn and bring it through both of those stitches to join. And just check that your ring is not twisted. We want that nice pretty braid all facing the same direction. And chain two. One, two. Now going into that very same stitch where we just joined right here, we're gonna go into the same spot. And we're gonna do one double crochet. So put your hook into that very same stitch and make one double crochet. Now we're gonna work into each of these chains going all the way around. Just into that bottom part, we always wanna get two strands on the top of our hook. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Every single chain is gonna get a double crochet. So one double crochet into every chain, working your way around. So you can pause the video and keep working around. One double crochet into each chain, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get close to where you started, make sure you get into that last chain. And now count your stitches to make sure you have 41. Our chain does not count as a stitch in this pattern. We're just counting our double crochets. So skip over that chain and we're counting one, two, three, four, five, 40 and 41. We're always gonna have 41 of these double crochets for the first part for the leg of the stocking. And now we're gonna slip stitch right to the top of that very first double crochet. So we're ignoring the chain and we're gonna go into that top of the first double crochet. Just put your hook in and slip stitch to join. Now we're gonna drop our tail 
just kind of hold it along the back of your work and grab your next color. Put a loop on your hook and bring it through the loop you have, just like that. Snug down your green tail and hold that behind. Drop your new tail and also hold that behind. And chain one. Let's get that all snug down again. And now we're going to go right into that very first stitch, right, right here. That's where we're going to make our first stitch. So put your hook into the very first stitch and make one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. One single crochet. So pause the video and keep working your way along, one single crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When we get back to the join, make sure you go into that last stitch, one single crochet, and now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet to join. So we're going to slip stitch over here. Pop your hook in and slip stitch. You want to do a tight slip stitch, so I'm using a lot of tension on my yarn. One little slip stitch, and now we're going to drop the red tail and pick up our green working yarn. Just like that, and bring it through. Snug down the red. Snug down the green, and chain two one and two. We started the last round into the very first stitch, so this round we're going to skip the first stitch and work into the second. So wrap your yarn and into the second stitch, one double crochet. So we jumped over that first stitch right there, and now we can put a stitch marker at the back side. It doesn't have to be into a stitch. You can just use your stitch marker to remind yourself that for this next row, you're going to have to put your double crochet into that chain stitch, just to remind yourself, because we skipped the first one, so we're going to know to put it in at the chain. But I'll show you that when we get there. So for now, one double crochet into each stitch. So pause the video and keep working your way around, one double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. So back at where we are joining, we go into that same stitch we always have, the last stitch before the chain. And now we're going to go into the same stitch. There's a little tiny one right before the chain. We're going to go in right here and make our last double crochet. Just like that. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first real double crochet right over there. So we're just going to slip stitch. We're always ignoring our chain and we're always keeping 41 stitches for our double crochet round. So into that very first stitch, right there, slip stitch to join. Just like that. So now we're going to drop our double crochet yarn and pick up our single crochet yarn bring it through, snug your green yarn down and hold it, just like that at the back, and chain one. Now into the very first stitch, right here, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So our single crochet row doesn't change, we just alternate how we start or finish our double crochet round. So pause the video and keep working away along, one single crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when you get back to the join. So one single crochet into each stitch, ignoring that little bit where our chain started, our little chain one. We don't go into this stitch right at the chain, we ignore that one just into this last stitch right before. And now jump over into the top of our first real single crochet and slip stitch to join. A nice little slip stitch. Hold your single crochet yarn down along the back. Grab your double crochet yarn. Bring it through. Snug down your single crochet yarn. 
So it's nice and flat and chain two, one and two. We did the last round skipping this first stitch and working into the last by the chain. This is gonna keep our seam going nice and straight and not on an angle. So it's gonna really hide nicely on our stocking. So now we're gonna work into that very first stitch. So I'm gonna move my stitch marker over. So just move that stitch marker up and put it on the other side of your chain for the next round. That's just gonna tell us what we're doing ahead. And now we're gonna work into that very first stitch. So right here, right at the bottom of our chain. So wrap your yarn and into that very first stitch, one double crochet. And now one double crochet into each stitch. So now pause the video and keep working around, one double crochet into each stitch. And I'll meet you when we get back to where we joined. Back where we joined, I'm working into that last stitch. So now I'm going to slip stitch straight to the top of that double crochet to join. So slip stitch to the top of the real double crochet to join. Drop your tail, pick up your contrasting tail or your single crochet color and bring it through, snug it down and chain one. So our single crochet row is always the same. We just go into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. We can move our stitch marker up and we can just put it on that stitch we did right after the chain. That might help us keep track of it as we work our way along. So now pause the video and keep working your way along. One single crochet into each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to close to where we joined. Back at the joint, I'm just gonna slip stitch straight over into that first single crochet right over there. So slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. Nice small little slip stitch. Drop your tail, pick up your other yarn or your double crochet color, bring it through, snug it down and chain two, one and two. Now I went into right after the chain in the last round. So I'm gonna skip that stitch. I'm skipping this stitch right here. I'm gonna work in to the second stitch. I'm gonna to jump to this stitch right there. So wrap your yarn into the second stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet all the way around. So pause the video and keep working way along, one double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when we get back to our join. At our join, we have our last stitch left. So one double crochet into that last stitch, and now we have our chain. We skipped after the chain, so we need to go in before the chain, right here. So we're just gonna alternate our rows doing the same thing. So into the same stitch as that chain, one double crochet. That gives us a nice tight join and, a, and alternating where we put that double crochet is really gonna help our seam stay nice and straight. And we're gonna be putting that along the back of our stocking, just along the center of the heel. So when it's hanging on the, your mantle or wherever it is, you won't be seeing this join at all. We're doing the same thing underneath the foot. So we're always hiding that join and that's how we're gonna be keeping it straight is this by alternating putting our double crochet before or after the chain. So slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. And now we can move that stitch marker over into that double crochet we just made after the chain. Just there. And start your row of single crochet. So now we're gonna keep going, alternating doing a row of double crochet and single crochet. And for our double crochet rounds, we're gonna be alternating where we put our first double crochet, either right after the chain or right before the chain when we finish. So pause the video and keep going. We wanna keep repeating this pattern until we have 11 rows of double crochet. So right now we have four rows of double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So pause the video and I will meet you back when you have 11 rows of double crochet. So this is 11 rows of your double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And our seam is heading up nice and straight in the middle of our work. 
slip stitch to join the top of that first double crochet and chain one. Now go ahead, cut both of your yarns. We can knot these ones. You can sew them in or you can knot them. I'm just gonna knot these two. So pull your hook up and your yarn through, inside it out a little bit so we can see our yarn. Take your crochet hook, put it underneath this loop, same direction as our other yarn, and grab your double crochet yarn and bring it through. That just gives us a spot where we can secure it. And now just make your regular knot. So knot it once, this one not too tight, and knot it again. That one really tight. If it starts to slip, do one more knot and then pull it. And of course, you're welcome to sew in these tails if you want to. This is gonna be right near our heel, so we're not really gonna feel it very much. So you can just cut those tails off. Uh, the other two tails where we started, we're gonna have to sew in with a needle because we'll be able to see that from inside our stocking. It'll be right at the top. So we wanna sew the two tails in. Now we are ready to start our heel. So we want to get our seam lined up again in the middle, in the center of our leg panel. Get your stitch marker handy. We have our chain here. If you can just wiggle your, you can wiggle your fingers in to find this chain. This is gonna count as a stitch for our heel. So this is gonna be one, and we wanna do 10 on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That one right there, I'm just gonna put my hook in. And then not counting the chain, I want 10 on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there is 10. I'm gonna put the stitch marker into that 10th stitch. So it's 21 stitches altogether. The chain two suddenly counts as a stitch, so 21. If you're doing a different uh, circumference, a different stitch count, you want the number to be divisible by three and approximately half the width of your stocking. So now grab your heel color, I'm gonna be using white. Put a loop of yarn onto your hook, 10 stitches on the other side of the chain, and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, just holding it along the back of your work, and chain one. So all that counts as your first single crochet. So into the next stitch is number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 is gonna go into that chain. 11, 12 into the next, and all the way up to 21. 19, 20, and 21, where we had our stitch marker. So that was just to make sure our math was proper when we were doing our first row, and that is 21 single crochets for the first row. Chain one and turn your work. Now we're gonna go right into that very first stitch, right here, and we're gonna do 14 single crochets, one into each stitch. So there's our first one, two, three, 13 and 14. To start row three, chain one and turn your work. Now we're gonna do seven and we're starting in the very first stitch right there. Seven single crochet, one into each stitch. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7. So that's what it looks like. Chain 1, turn your work. Starting in the very first stitch, this row has 8 single crochets. So I'll show you what we do at the end of the row. So there's 7 across the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And now we're going to jump down into this first empty single crochet, way down there. So use a bit of tension, snug up on your yarn, put your hook into that next single crochet in the first row, and make one small single crochet. Just like that. So there's our eight single crochets for that row. To start the next row, chain one and turn your work. Now one single crochet into each stitch along the top and one single crochet into the next empty one down below. So into our very first stitch, one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch along the top. So this row will have a total of nine single crochets. Remember, you always have to go into this stitch. It's a bit weird, it's on a hill, but that is our last stitch of our little plateau. And then once we're at the edge, we jump down. So our ninth single crochet is going right down here. So one little single crochet. Chain one and turn. So we're just gonna keep doing this over and over until we have two stitches left. So if you are an experienced crocheter, you can pause the video or just keep working ahead. And if you are new, I'll do the entire heel with you. So into the next stitch, one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch along the top part of this heel, along the hill. One single crochet into each stitch. And remember this at the edge here, that is a stitch. There we are. Now we're gonna jump down into that single crochet at the bottom and make one small single crochet. So that always ends our row. Chain one to start your row, turn your work, and one single crochet starting in the very first stitch all the way along until we reach the end of our hill. So starting the very first stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch. Remember to go into that last stitch on the edge. The edge is gonna be really, really straight when you're finished with it. And now find that stitch at the bottom, the next empty single crochet, and one single crochet, like that. Chain one and turn your work into the very first stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch all the way along the top edge, including the last stitch on the hill. Into that last stitch on the edge, one single crochet, and now the next single crochet at the bottom, one single crochet. So we're just doing one extra single crochet at the edge of each cliff. Chain one and turn. Starting in that very first stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch all along the top of our hill, including this last one on the edge. 11, and into that last one, 12, for our nice straight edge, and then finding that first single crochet in the bottom row, one single crochet. 
chain one and turn. And now starting in the very first stitch, one single crochet and one single crochet into each stitch all the way along the top edge, including that last stitch. So there's my last stitch into that, the stitch right at the end. And now look for that next single crochet that's empty and one single crochet down below. And you can see that's giving us a nice heel already, a nice little shape starting. Chain one and turn your work. Now the same thing, starting in the very first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch all the way along, including the one at the very end. So there's 14, we're gonna do our 15th stitch into that next empty single crochet down at the bottom. And we're gonna keep doing the same row back and forth all the way along until we just have two stitches left. So if you have more than two stitches, just keep going. So into the next empty single crochet down below, one single crochet, chain one, and turn. So we're gonna repeat that again, one single crochet into each stitch, including the one at the end, all the way along this top edge. There is one, two, three, and 15 into that last stitch on the edge. Now we can count our stitches. We have three stitches left. So we're still not done. There is one, two, and remember our, our slip stitch and chain one counted as a single crochet. So we have three stitches left. So we're getting close, but we're not done yet. So we'll keep going. So this is the same, one single crochet into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now one single crochet into each stitch all the way along, including the last stitch at the end. So there is one, two, three, 15, 16 into that stitch right on the end. Still more than two stitches down there. So our last single crochet into that first empty single crochet at the bottom. Chain one and turn. And the same thing, one single crochet into each stitch all the way along, including the last stitch at the end. So one, two, three, 17 into that last stitch at the edge. And now we have two stitches left. So that is great. So into the next empty single crochet at the bottom, one single crochet. And now into the next stitch, so that's our chain and our slip stitch. We're just gonna go right into that stitch and make one more single crochet. One single crochet. So that finishes up the fancy bit. We are just going to turn our work without chaining. And we are going to start, not in the very first stitch, which is right here, we're gonna start into the second stitch. So into the second stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each stitch all the way along, including the last one at the end. So we've done one, here is two, three, 18 is into that last stitch. And now we're going to do our single crochet into that next stitch we always would be working into. So one single crochet. And now into the next stitch, right here, we're just gonna slip stitch. So one slip stitch into the next stitch just like that. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now go ahead and sew in these two tails.
when your heel is complete, we are ready to start our next row of single crochet. We're gonna use the same color, so whatever color you are using for your single crochets. And you wanna fold your stocking so that the seam, our join, is along the edge and your heel is folded in half. Now at the top of our heel, we want to find the center stitch. You don't have to count it, we just want to like eyeball it. We want it to line up with the join we already have going on. So the join and then just find that stitch. And we want to be working from the outside to the inside. So put your hook in the same way that I just did. Loop of your single crochet color on your hook. Bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, and drop your tail. Chain one. That's gonna count as our first single crochet. And now one single crochet into each stitch along this heel. Just one single crochet into each stitch. So now we're going to make stitches along this edge. There is one, two, and three. We're going to put right in between the legs of this first single crochet, right down here. And that we're going to do a decrease. So just put your hook in between the legs of that stitch and bring your yarn back. And find the first stitch of your stocking, not where you've worked into with your heel color, but the next one over, the next empty stitch. And put your hook inside, bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn, and take off all three loops. So that is a single crochet decrease right in that corner. And now one single crochet into each stitch. So you can pause the video and keep putting one single crochet into each stitch all the way along until we reach our heel area. So right before our heel starts, we have one empty stitch left. So I'm gonna do my decrease again. So I'm gonna put my hook into that last empty stitch, bring my yarn back, and put my hook in between the legs of that next stitch. Right there. Bring my yarn back and wrap my yarn, take off all three loops. That is a decrease. Now we're gonna make a stitch somewhere in this area. Just put your hook in and make one single crochet. And now we are back where our stitches are. So one single crochet into each stitch all the way along the heel. Working our way back up to where we joined. So same as we always have, slip stitch to the top of that first, so just slip stitch into that area and drop your tail, grab your double crochet color, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through, drop that tail, pinch down your single crochet color, you want to really get that nice and tight, pinching it and chain two, one and two. And now we're just going to be doing our double crochets. So I'm going to work into the first stitch. As best I can. And one double crochet into each stitch all the way along until we get to that same little corner. When you reach this corner, we want to go into the stitch, the last stitch of the heel and the first stitch of the stocking, and we're gonna do a decrease. So wrap your yarn and go into the last stitch of the heel. Bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn again, go into the next stitch, grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Three loops on your hook. Now you're gonna wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So that is a double crochet decrease. And now one double crochet into each stitch all the way along until you reach the heel on the other side. So when we get close to the corner, I'm gonna find the two stitches that are closest to that corner, one and two, and I'm gonna do my decrease there. So I have one more stitch I can do regular. 
So one regular double crochet. And now I'm at those two stitches. So I'm going to start my double crochet into the first stitch, grab my yarn and bring it back, wrap and take off two. And I'm going to start my double crochet into the next stitch. Bring the yarn back, wrap and take off two, wrap and take off three. And now one double crochet into each stitch, all the way up until you reach where we joined. When we've gotten back up to where we joined, just wake your slip stitch into the top of that double crochet. And switch yarns. So drop your double crochet yarn, pick up your single crochet yarn, bring it through, snug it down, and chain one. Now we're going to be doing the exact same thing as we did before. So we're just going to be doing rows of single crochet, one into every stitch, and then rows of double crochet alternating how we start or end, just to keep our edge straight. And we're going to keep doing that so we have six rows of double crochet. So pause the video and I'll meet you when you have six rows of double crochet done for the foot. So now we have our six rows of double crochet for the foot. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we can just cut our yarn and with our green color or the double crochet color you're using right now, chain one and just pull that through and snug it down. Now you want to sew in those tails or knot them. This is right by the toe so I'm just going to knot mine. And easiest way to do it, put your hook in to one of those loops, same direction as your yarn and grab your the yarn you just finished to bring it through. That gives you a little loop to tie on. And just give it a little tie. One loosely, one tightly, making sure it doesn't slip. If it slips, tie it one more time before you pull. I'll just open it up flat again so our seam is running down the middle of our stocking and we're going to grab our heel color again. Same hook. So now just pick a stitch near that join. I'm just going to go into the stitch right after that chain one we just did. So pop your hook in and loop of your heel color yarn or your toe color yarn on your hook. Bring it back, slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. Chain one. So this counts as our first single crochet. Now one single crochet into every stitch. So now just pause the video and keep working around. One single crochet into each stitch. I'll meet you when we get back closer to our join. So back at the join, I'm going to put a stitch into that chain just so it looks nice around the edge. And now we're going to go right in between the legs of that first slip stitch we did. Right there. So pop your hook in and we're going to make one single crochet. So one single crochet. That is our join. And now grab your stitch marker and just pop it into that single crochet that you just made. We want to mark where we're starting our row. And now for the second row of our toe, we are going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then into the next two single crochets, we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to start our single crochet in the first stitch, leaving it on our hook. Start our single crochet in the second stitch, leaving it on our hook. Wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So that's what we're going to do into our sixth and seventh stitch. So five single crochets by themselves. One, two, three, four, and five, and then a decrease into the next two. So start your single crochet, start your second single crochet in the next stitch, wrap your yarn and take off all three. So now pause the video and keep working along doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, and a decrease into the next two. 
all the way around until we reach back to where we joined. When you approach your stitch marker, don't worry if it's lining up exactly. This is just a marker of where we're going to switch what we're doing. So now to start the next row, we are going to do four single crochets and then a decrease. So we're just reducing the number of single crochets by themselves. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. Starting the first, starting the second, and taking off all three loops. So for this round, four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and, and then a decrease. Starting, starting, and taking off. So pause the video and work around till you get back to your stitch marker, four single crochets by themselves and then a decrease. So approaching that stitch marker again, the next row is gonna change to three single crochets by themselves and then your decrease. So one, two, three, and then your decrease. Just like that. So pause the video and go around this row, doing your three single crochets by themselves, and then a decrease into your four and five. Now for the next row, we're gonna do two single crochets and then a decrease. So one single crochet, two single crochets, and a decrease. One, two, take off together. So continue around, two single crochets and then a decrease all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to the area of the stitch marker. Now for the next row, we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease. All the way around, that doesn't even take that long. So one single crochet and one decrease all the way around and I'll meet you at the stitch marker. Now for the next row, we're just gonna do decreases. So every two single crochets go together to be one. So into the first, into the second, wrap and take off all three loops. So now we're just gonna keep rolling our stocking around <laughs> and going into each of these two stitches to, until our toe of our stocking is very, very small. Eventually, it's very hard to get your hook into that tiny little hole. So that's probably the last one I can do. So now chain one and cut your yarn. You're leaving a long enough tail, we have to sew that one in. Pull your hook up and thread your needle. Oh, and we can take that stitch marker out. You might wanna put your hand in your stocking so you make sure you don't sew your stocking together. <laughs> So from where our yarn is coming from, I'm just gonna go across to the other side. And that kind of pulls it together and go back and forth a couple times. Just across that opening. You don't have to pull too tight. You want it to look a little natural. And now we can just sew in our tail. Back and forth a few times. And that is nice and shut. Cut your tail. And there is our cute little toe. So say goodbye to your smaller hook, your four and a half. We want to be using our five and a half for the cuff. And we're gonna start by chaining 16. So make a slip knot and chain 16. One, two, three, 15, 16. So lay it flat so all those pretty stitches are facing up, the cute little Vs. Roll it around and we are looking for our very first stitch right here, our very first chain. We are going to put your hook in there and make one slip stitch. 
one slip stitch. So this is gonna be a little hanging loop for hanging your stocking. Now we chain 41. One, two, three, 38, 39, 40, and 41. So lay your chain out again, nice and flat. Bring it around to the top. Now we're gonna slip stitch again. I wanna slip stitch into that very first chain. So I'm gonna slip stitch right here. So put your hook in and slip stitch. And then just check that you don't have any twists in that last ring that you made. Chain two, one and two. And now into the very same stitch where we joined that same chain. Wrap your yarn and make one half double crochet. So one half double. Wrap your yarn and one half double into the next stitch. And one half double into each stitch all the way around. So every chain is getting one half double crochet. So you can pause the video and just keep working along. One half double into every chain and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where you started, it is a bit messy looking. <laughs> so roll it around so that it is making sense. Ignore our hanging tag, that's just gonna be in the way for a while, but Roll it around so your stitches, the top of your stitches match the other side and your chain will also be lining up. And now keep going in, one half double crochet into each stitch, or into each chain, all the way along. So there's my last stitch right there. And for this cuff, we want to be adding stitches per row. Our chain count is perfect to match our stocking, 41, but now we can start adding stitches. So I'm gonna put a stitch right after my chain and I'm also gonna put one right before. So I'm just gonna go in anywhere really where that chain is and make one more half double crochet. We're just gonna add some size. Now we're gonna slip stitch straight into our first real half double right over there. So still ignoring our chain. Slip stitch to join. Chain two, one, two. And into the very first stitch right where our chain is, we're gonna put a half double crochet. So we're gonna put a half double right after our chain and we're gonna put one in right before the chain. So we're just adding a stitch. So you can pause the video, one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around, starting in the same stitch as your chain. And just working around one half double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started this round. So getting back to where we joined, still one half double into each stitch, and then into that stitch right before our chain, also one half double right into there. Slip stitch to the top of the first real half double to join. So just ignoring our chain two, like always. Slip stitch, chain two to start the next round and one half double into that very first stitch, the same stitch as the chain. One half double and now one half double into each stitch all the way around until you reach back to where we started. We wanna do this for two more rows. So go ahead, pause the video, and do the same row two more times, a total of four rows. When you've finished your four rows, slip stitch to the top of the first real half double to join, like always, and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna skip these first three stitches. So we're skipping where the chain comes from, we're just ignoring that, and then we're gonna skip two more. We're gonna go into this stitch right here. So wrap your yarn and into the fourth stitch, one double crochet. Chain two, skip two into the third. So we're skipping one, two, going into the third, one double crochet.
chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the third. Chain two, skip two, one double crochet into the third. So you can pause the video and keep working your way around doing a chain two, one, two, skipping two, and making a double crochet into the third stitch all the way around, and I will meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, it might be two stitches, it might be three, but just skip it all. So chain two, and we're going to slip stitch to the third chain. So here is one, two, we're gonna slip stitch to the third chain to join. So one slip stitch, chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. You can go ahead and sew in these tails. So the first one I'll show you is this scallop edge. Just put your hook in to one of these little windows where your hanging chain is, the same area as your hanging chain, just into one of those windows and pick the color from your single crochet. Of course, you can do any color you like, but I choose the color that I just had a little bit, my highlight color. So for me, that's red. Loop of yarn on my hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop my tail, I'm just gonna hold that along my chain there. And chain one. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the same space. Wrap your yarn twice, one treble crochet into the same space. Wrap your yarn once and one double crochet. Wrap your yarn and half double. So that is our little scallop. Drop your tail now. We'll have to sew that in with a needle later. So here is the repeat for the scallop. One half double crochet, one double crochet, one treble crochet, one double crochet, and one half double crochet. Jump straight over into your next window and do the same. So half double, double, treble, double, and half double. So if you're doing the scallop edge, pause the video and keep working your way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. So to join the icicles or the scallops, we are going to slip stitch right into that first chain we made, just at the bottom there. So you're just gonna go in and slip stitch. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down and sew in your tail. To do the flat edge, put your hook in to any window space near your hanging tag, loop of your accent color or your single crochet color yarn, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail holding it along the edge of your work, and chain two, one and two three double crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. Drop your tail, jump straight over into the next space, the next window, and do four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. 
And now you're going to do four double crochets into each window all the way around until you get back to where you started. So four double crochets into each window space. There's two, three, and four. Four double crochets into each window space all the way around and I'll meet you when you get back to where you started. If you did the flat edge, then you will just slip stitch to the top of that first real double crochet. Just one little slip stitch. And the same, chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, snug down, sew in your tail. To do the icicle edge, the icicle edging, put your hook into any window space near your hanging tag. Loop of your accent color yarn on your hook. Bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail holding it along the edge of your work and chain two, one and two. Holding your tail along your work, make one double crochet. Make one treble crochet. And now we're gonna pico, so chain three, one, two, three. And we wanna slip stitch into this back loop of our first chain. So we can see, if you roll your chain to the side, you can see these bumps. There is one, two, and three. We wanna put our hook right in and get that back loop. So slip stitch to the third back loop to join. One little slip stitch and one more treble crochet into the same space. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the same space. Drop your tail and now this is the repeat for the icicle. One half double crochet one double crochet, one treble crochet, one pico, one, two, three, so chain three, and slip stitch to that first chain, the back loop of the first chain, one little slip stitch, and one treble crochet into the same space. And we finish with one double crochet. So start with a half double, then one double, one treble, one pico, one, two, three, slip stitch to that first chain, Turn your hook, there we are. One treble crochet. And one double crochet. So now pause the video and keep working along doing your icicles, which is half double, double, treble, pico, treble, and double crochet into each space all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where you joined. So to join the icicles or the scallops, we are going to slip stitch right into that first chain we made, just at the bottom there. So you're just going to go in and slip stitch. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. And sew in your tail. You can put your big hook away now, go back to your smaller hook, your four and a half millimeter, and we want to line up the back of our stocking, where our seam is, with the hanging tag area of our cuff. So put the stocking inside the cuff, lining up our back seam with our hanging tag. Let us check for where our join is and put your hanging tag in the same spot. 
and just kind of keep that pinched together so you know where it is. Grab your hook, and now I'm not going to go into the stitch right after the hanging tag. I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to go into the second stitch, and also into the stitch of the stocking. So we have one loop of our cuff and one loop of our stocking, and we're going to use our cuff color to join loop of yarn on my hook, bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail, and chain one. So that counts as our first single crochet. And now we're going to go in to each stitch of our cuff and grabbing the same loop of our stocking. So we're going to make one single crochet into each pair of these stitches. So into the next stitch, one single crochet, and one single crochet into each pair of stitches. So this is how we're joining our cuff onto our stocking. So just take your time, work your way along, getting your cuff and your stocking, one stitch of each, and one single crochet to join. So you can just pause the video and keep working along, grabbing your front stitch of your cuff and the back stitch of your stocking, and making one single crochet into each all the way along until you get back closer to your hanging loop. Getting back to our hanging loop, just keep working along into each stitch that you can. And when you get to this little guy here, we can still go into that one, but we're not going to do a single crochet. So grab that tiny one and the matching stitch at the back and just slip stitch. Slip stitch into that one. Now we're going to go into our hanging loop somewhere in the middle. You're just going to push your hook in and you're going to grab something at the back as well. So into the hanging loop and out your stocking. Just take your time like that and also slip stitch. So bring the yarn back through. Slip stitch. We want some extra strength because the weight of all of the stocking is going to be hanging on that loop. And now into our last stitch. We left this one on purpose. We do our last single crochet. There. And now we can slip stitch or do an invisible join. If you're going to slip stitch, go straight into that first stitch there and do a slip stitch. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tail and you're absolutely finished. So if you want to do an invisible join, instead of doing our slip stitch, go ahead and cut your yarn and pull your yarn through that last single crochet we made. So just pull your yarn all the way through it. Take a needle and now we're going to go in where we would normally slip stitch, but we're just going to be using our needle instead of our hook. So go into that first stitch where we would have crocheted into and bring your yarn through. We want to be keeping an eye on where our yarn is coming from the center of that single crochet. So just bring it through a little bit and now put your needle back down where it came from. Just like that. And now snug it up so it looks like a stitch. There. There is our invisible join. Now go ahead and sew in your tail and you're finished. You can also sew in your tail back and forth with your hanging loop just to reinforce it a little bit. And you can do that with both tails. 
And there is our cute little stocking. All of it is so adorable, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love to see yours. You can tag me over on Instagram, at Secret Yarnery, or Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. We also have a crochet group over on Facebook, The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Great place to upload your photos and ask questions. Tons of amazing crocheters over there. And thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any more awesome tutorials just like this. Thanks so much for hooking along. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.